it going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today what we are going to do is finish up the hutch. I'm so excited to get this thing done and out of here. We only have a little bit of work left to do. All I have to do is finish up the shelves, router the edges, um, do the crown molding, and then we might also get into the staining and finishing. So right here I've been sitting around for about 15 minutes trying to decide how I want the crown molding to look. And you can see here I have all of my router bits out trying to scrounge around to find different profiles and stuff and what I've come up with is I'm going to use three different pieces of wood this is all oak by the way it's gonna it's gonna be the same type of wood obviously and you can see here what I've done is drawn lines in between each profile and that way I can do each um, profile and then I'll sandwich the whole thing together so right here I'm gonna be able to do this profile detail thingy right there. I just use the words profile and detail. I don't really know the specific names. It just kind of sounds smart. So then this one can go in there like that. And then all I have to do is round over the bottom portion like that. And it should give a really nice detail of, you know, a really expensive and fancy router bit. In reality, it's just really common router bits that I'm going to be using for this. If I am able to pull this off, it is going to look so cool. So I think I'm going to try to accomplish this first, and then while this is drying and being glued up and clamped, that's when I'll go work on the shelves, and I think that's going to be the best way to manage my time out here. And then once I'm done with the shelves, I'll be able to take these out of the clamps and the yada yada yada. <laughs> So I cut all of the pieces to go on the crown molding up here. I made a mistake. And what I accidentally did was, well, I measured from this end right here to right here. And I didn't account for the 45 degree angle that's going to come when the two pieces meet. So over on the router table over here, I was doing all of the pieces. I had all of them done just by like two inches because I needed a little bit of extra to cut flush and then I needed a little bit on the front side right here so that I could cut it out of 45 but I had to recut all of them so they're all right here I have all three sets the two sides and the longer one in the in the front but it really sucks when you just get to that one point where you're like okay I'm ready to move on to the next step and then you realize you did something wrong and then you had to go 10 steps back that's what I just did <laughs> Never enough clamps. I don't get it. I just do not get it. Why does something this long right here need eight clamps on it? Just take two here and two here. But no, you end up using all of your clamps because the glue doesn't squeeze out evenly and it's just a headache. You know, clamps aren't even that expensive. I don't understand why I don't have more in here. You know, I'm probably, I always say probably, I will in, you know, two weeks, okay? In two weeks, my clamp collection, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more clamps because 
Whenever I do a large project like this, clamps, clamps, clamps. I need more of them. I end up using pipe clamps on something, you know, this wide, and I could use a little squeeze clamp and ah. Anyway, I got all three pieces sitting there, and it's about lunchtime. I'm gonna go in and eat some lunch, and then when I come back out, we'll start working on the shelf pieces under there. Those are all sanded down. I just need to cut them and router the edges to make them all nice and fancy. And then I will start sanding those painlessly. Another thing I need is a card scraper. I don't have any of those. So I'm going to scrounge around. Probably end up spending more time sanding than I will on any other thing today. But that's just the way it goes. Yeah, I'm going to go eat some lunch and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Just ate some lunch and now we're going to get going on these shells. Man, these turned out so beautiful. The joints came out so nice. Dream up a world of pirates Climb the highest tree gosh look at that that's a freaking cabinet I just built that there's gonna have to be another video so tomorrow we'll stain it we'll finish it and we will attach it why do I keep hitting this we'll attach it to the lower cabinet which I finished many weeks ago and that's gonna look oh my god it's gonna look so nice this is the largest project I've ever done with like real wood it's the largest thing I've ever done and it's the longest project like time wise too so I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a really good day. I also have school tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to come out here, 
right when I get home. We're going to finish this thing up. It should be a really great video tomorrow, so keep a lookout for that. If you're watching this in the near future, it will probably be out, and I'll leave a card thingy to that at the end of the video. So that's basically going to be it for this one. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that really quick. You're going to want to stay tuned to see the end result with this thing. Also, leave a like. I put a lot of effort into these videos. Oh yeah, one other quick thing is after I finish this build, I have a really big announcement for you guys. It's going to be a big one. I've been looking forward to this for like three months. It is some big news and it's going to change this whole thing out here. So keep an eye out for that. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow.